Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today I'm going to show you how to scale down stroke paths in After Effects. So without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so I have this scene here where I want it to start off with um, zoomed in on this little news agent and then it's going to zoom out to seeing them both. So I want to right click this and go to create shapes from vectors and I can delete the other ones. I'm just going to lock these layers and uh, just make this one yellow for now. And I'm going to create a null object. Now I want it uh, to kind of scale from, from the middle of the news agent. So what I'm going to do is let's just call this uh, I don't know, scale please. And uh, we can parent the house to that scale. And then we're going to press S on the keyboard. And let's see, zoom in. And perhaps we start off on the building being nice and big like this and then zoom out. Now, I'm sure you've noticed a problem first that's already happening here, is that when it's scaled up, the uh, outlines aren't matching the baseline of this animation. So I'd like to show you how to resolve this problem. So I've just got this little bit piece of code, which I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna untwill my groups. Now there's a whole bunch of groups for all different parts of the uh, illustration. But if I just click on my contents and I type in stroke, stroke width, uh, bad spelling, stroke width, oh there we go, just stroke. Okay, and I'm gonna alt click on my stopwatch and one of the strokes and I'm gonna copy and paste this uh, script inside here. Now, all we need to do is make sure that this copy control over here matches the same um, naming function as scale please. So all I need to do is type in scale please. Make sure you close up the gap over there. Cool. And then all we're gonna do is then we're gonna copy and paste this script onto all the strokes. Right, and now it should scale down perfectly. Now uh, it looks like my line isn't quite uh, uh, matching up with my uh, building. So all I can do is press a uh, new uh, null object and parent that null to the other null. And that way I can just move this illustration down without affecting the animation. And then just delete that null afterwards. And now it should do perfectly fine. And if it's not loading, we can just go fast draft. So I can show a really quick preview of it. There we go. Uh, it still looks like it's not quite lining up as nicely as I envisioned it to. Um, I guess you could also fake it a bit. So if we uh, press P on your keyboard and let's say separate dimensions, and we're just going to animate the Y value, then I could when it scales down over here, I can just move that Y value up. Until it 
pull up matches there. There we go. So it's in the right position there. And it's in the right position there. And there you have it. That is how you scale your strokes. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.